So I get so in this tutorial for those that are busy in the shooter for a while, I'll show you my temporary tool you should apply gradients to an editable text and you know for it to still be editable. So let's try it now. So this is my text here. Currently it's still editable. But let's go, let's say what to apply a gradient to it. Click. You can see it's showing that gradient has been applied. We see nothing is happening here. Then we'll say let, let's go ahead. Let's add the colors. Let's just do this color. Because this is nothing is showing here. I just change this. Why is this here? Can see nothing has happened here. Nothing has happened, but if you now like this text, convert it to outline, then click on the gradients. You can see the gradient has been applied. But this is the disadvantage is that of this is that in instances, let's say maybe your like the client are okay for now to make changes to the text, you now have to retype the text again and have reapply the gradient. But it's a better way to do that. So let's just come here. Let's undo it. So back to if I called it, yes, undo create outline. So as it's like this. So what you just need to do is you just need to come to window, uh, pathfinder. You click on this. That's in case you don't, it's not already here. So click on pathfinder to show that. You just go to here. They click on make compound shape. So I think this make compound shape is different from this compound part here. You can see it's grayed out for when text is selected. But for here, this is where you find this one make compound shape. So you click on that, then now you can see you can apply the gradients. And the beautiful thing is that it is still editable. Is it applied? So that's a easy hack. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next tutorial. So yes, hope you found the video useful, and if you liked it, I want to see more of this. So please subscribe to this channel, like, and share with your friends. Thank you.